pretty much all she can. Uh -huh. um, you know, we've seen good results. Uh, so, results of the boys' Johnny. high jump. In third oh, place for Nick Connor, it was Dijon way, Weaver to jump yeah, at five yeah, feet, four inches. In second was. place was Alzer Central, Devontae Clark, to jump at five city. feet, six yeah, inches. And your gold yeah. medal winner from South Iredale, David King, like jump at five feet, eight inches. Oh, no. I mean, I know she's, um, you know, she seems to be paying more attention to her diet, mm -hmm. which, uh, yeah, might be a missing link. Uh, she doesn't act like her toes hurt or not. No, she doesn't, does she? She looks like she always does. She, I mean, actually, she looks really good. She might be in tears when she goes across the finish line, though. Who knows? That wouldn't be the first time. But we're hoping that, you know, she and I have talked a little bit about the eight hundred, not so much about the mile. Mm-hmm. You gotta get a little closer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, to realistically have a shot at that. Uh, but um, like next Saturday when they do the overnight trip in at Boone, just um, not having a run in mind. Yeah, 117 yeah. first half, that's not bad. Again, these are the ladies from the girls triple jump. Chevy Mayor, Alger Central, third place with jump at 3110. Yeah. Kayla Ruff, Hickory second, jump at 33-10. Yeah. And Yasmin Colbury, jump at 34 left. Yeah. I would love to see her run a, run a race. Need, she these ladies report to the awards podium. All she's got to do is just stop. Marissa Scott from Patton. So I think she Kayla Ruff from Hickory. And Elizabeth one Easter one from race. South Iredale. But she looked good to the week. awards podium. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. She loved that 400. <laughs> I mean, um, she, um, you know, kind of cruised through the mile, but we talked about that. And we just, you know, we're thinking, I guess she told you, we're thinking about possibly doing that combination at the conference. Yeah. And she'll have to run a controlled mile to do that. She can't blast it. You know, five. Uh, no, who's going to beat her, you know? Yeah. I mean, you know, she can just get on, you know, 530 pace, 535 pace, and then use her speed at the end. Mm-hmm. What about reason? What are you thinking about? Again, I need Elizabeth Easter really from South Iredale, yeah. Taylor Ruff from Hickory, time. and Marissa Scott from Patton report to the awards podium here in the infield of the track. Concentrate on this lap, Maddie. Concentrate on this lap. I know. She, she, that's one thing she told me she's missing, missing that bad having to run, run with. The, uh, you know, the Andrew Chick girl is just really not, I mean, she's a decent miler, but she's just, I mean, she's much better than the two miles. She ran 1140 something yeah. two miles. But you would think she could run something in the 520s, but she's just not really been up there. She's a slow starter, but she, once she gets rolling, she's great. But, you mean, she, she doesn't have that initial burst of speed for the first mile. Coming here is hopefully there'd be somebody that uh, would really push her in both races. And it looks like there will be in the 800. Yeah, I think so too. But in the mile, obviously, it's not. So, uh, like I said, I think she's going to 510 right now mm -hmm. in the right race. Um, I can't tell how she's feeling right now. It slows a little bit for me. Come on, Matt A. Hard as you can go. Nothing to save it for. Hard as you can go. Yeah, really, probably. I'd rather see her run a good mile time, though, and maybe not have the best of eight. Yeah. She can block in on the 800 next year. She just wants to win so bad she can't stand it. I mean, every race she wants to win. She doesn't look like she's limping. She doesn't, does she? I mean, if she's hurting, she's masking it well. This girl, she's not as strong as some of the Tiger girls have been in the past. They had that girl, Darby Middlebrook. I don't know if she graduated or not, but she was she's phenomenal. Right. Maddie's 130 meters ahead of her. All right, she's going to be around 435 with 200 to go. She can run a 40 second 200. That puts her around 515. That's fantastic. Uh, 
In the girls 100 meter hurdle sponsored by O Cup of Come Bean on, Bakery in Claremont. Well, push it, push it, in push third it. Third place, we had Patton, Marissa Scott, the time 15.19 seconds. Second place, Kayla Ruff from Hickory, the time of 15.86 seconds. And your gold medal winner, awesome. from South Iredale, Fantastic race. Time of 15.58. Oh, that's was beautiful. Elizabeth Good job, baby. 517 or 518? Oh, awesome. She did it. It's fantastic. With a hurt toe. Yeah. That's beautiful. She looks pretty happy. Well, I can, unless she's just, unless it's either a grimace or a smile, I can't tell. No. I just. I just wonder how much better she'd be with with some really good competition, like yeah. statewide competition. Yeah. Because she's used, used to, and she's in. Once she had competition, she ran a lot harder. Yeah, and that's you know, I said that's why the whole.